lasagna soup with us. Let's get into it. Kicking it off with a quick view of the ingredients. We'll get into the details as we go and you can check them out in the description box. For now, we're gonna preheat that oven to 400 for some roasted garlic. We're gonna peel our garlic and get that in a muffin tin with some olive oil and then cover it in foil. We're gonna leave it in that 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes while we're cooking our soup. Then in our soup pot, we're gonna add in some olive oil and a pound of ground Italian sausage and a pound of ground beef, the other ground meat of your choice. And now we're gonna season with some Tuscan seasoning, Danos, garlic, crushed red pepper, and I'm also using onion soup mix, but that's because I'm not using a full onion. I'm using some leftover onion from earlier this week. I'm just gonna chop that up, add it into the pot, and then go into my green pepper, get that all chopped up, add that into the pot. That was a full green pepper, by the way. Then we're gonna chop up a cup of white mushrooms and get that into the pot, mix it up. And then y'all, I had a half a pound of leftover ground turkey meat that I had frozen that I just put in here because it's soup, do what you want. And now we're gonna add in two heaping tablespoons of tomato paste and the same for the Italian herb paste. Mix that John up and let's get our garlic out and bam! <laughs> All right, we go ahead and we put in our beef broth in, 28 ounces of beef broth in that pot. 14 ounces of water, 28 ounces of tomato sauce. Mix it up. Then we're gonna add 14 ounces of diced tomatoes. Get that in the pot, mix it up. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste because everything from now will be to taste. For me, it wasn't tomatoey enough, so I added the rest of my tomato paste and then two teaspoons of sugar half of the roasted garlic that we did and then we're getting into the pasta now do not try to break multiple at a time just do one pasta noodle at a time and break it up i used about the whole box and then we're going to add that into our pot and now i'm getting into the cheese mixture i use one cup of whipped cottage cheese because my nana uses cottage cheese in her lasagna shout out to nana and then borson i got this from mr make it happen i love borson cheese use half of a small thing of the borson cheese mix that up and then we're going to add in a half a cup of italian blend half a cup of mozzarella mix that up add some dried italian herb blend and some garlic and that's the cheese mixture right there let's get to this bread the kroger multi-grain loaf is like bro it's no argument it's the best bread you can get facts once we get that all sliced and diced we're gonna take a stick of butter get that melted as our butter is melting check in on our noodles once they're nice and al dente add your cheese in mix it around and let's get back to this bread to our melted butter we're adding some italian herb paste some dried italian seasoning and our roasted garlic yes sir we're gonna go ahead and give that a mix up and then after it's well mixed we're just gonna scoop that over our garlic bread and pour any of that remaining butter over top as well and then we're gonna top it with some mozzarella cheese first and then go in with our Italian blend again and then it's ready for the oven folks looking good and I did take my oven down to 350 for this while the bread is doing its thing for about 10 12 minutes we're gonna go ahead and close out this soup I added in the rest of my mozzarella cheese and then I added in some spinach this is completely optional but if you want to add in some veg without doing the most this is the way right here and there it is lasagna soup with desk fire well-rounded everything you need yeah get into it you trying it comment down below i'm telling you it's gonna be a hit for the whole family mm.